Next thing I'm gonna do is lose the stock fender. I bet you it's 10. Yes. Goodness, that's the tension on this armature. There's some cable routing here. Even when I lose that fender, I think I want to leave that on. I wonder if they pin it under the fender or if they left it raw. Like the side panel. Ha, huh. and can I take it off? without taking the wheel off. I can, Baha. Oh, and lo and behold, painted, painted underneath. Well done, Mutt. So I've gone down the rabbit hole with the bike today. I thought I'd only do the maintenance and I started bolting on all the stuff I've been collecting for green laning. I have two items left before I can bring this thing on the trail. First is the hand guards, which are the Acerbis hand guards. I got the orange and white ones for 40 quid down from 90 for the black ones. I was going to Plasti dip those black so that they would blend in a bit more, but I kind of like how garish they are, so we're gonna do that. I'm looking at the items in the box here, and there doesn't seem to be a instruction booklet. I have a sense of how these are meant to go on. <laughs> I have a sense of how these are meant to go on, but I am... Oh, <laughs> that goes over there. Anyway. I have a sense of how these are meant to go on, but I've never done it specifically for this brand. I've taken the ones on my BM, the stock ones on my BMW on and off. Oh, look at that. People are sorry yelling at me right here. The instructions, I guess, are on YouTube, but also the instructions are on the box. Look at that. I see now says the blind man. All right, well, it looks like I have to do some disassembly first here. And the length of this lever, I think, is a bit too long to fit in the in the Acerbis spacing, so I might have to move all of that over if it's going to allow it. But let's see how this goes. Number five, Allen bolt for this bar end cap. Now, since there's an insert in there already, I wonder if the Acerbis bolts will fit in. No, they will not. Hmm. <sighs> well, the question is. Here are the assembled items. It looks like the mutt comes with a five millimeter insert while the Cerebus is an M8. Yep. I'm sure the length of that bolt and that inside there is going to have some sort of reinforcement structural quality to it. That's gonna snap off, isn't it? Right there. That's gonna fall and that's gonna snap off. <sighs> okay. What do 
I do? What do I do? Short of getting new bars, before I figure out how to replace that, I'm going to do a dry fit with the 5mm bolt so that I can position the levers and the controls where they need to be. covering the tank when I hold a metal tool over it, but I'm a foolish. So that's installed, albeit with a lighter bolt in the bar. And you can see I have, you can see I have some contact here. So what I'm going to do is slide this ever so slightly that way so that I can have clearance of that. The other thing I've read about and I've done on my adventure bike is loosening the controls. Not so loose that you move them when you're activating them, but loosening them enough so that if the bike was to fall, instead of that snapping, this would rotate on the handlebar. Like it's enough. Maybe a dash more. Yeah, let's call it that. down one to go. The trick here is to make sure that this doesn't huh. Hmm. Asymmetric. That's not gonna reach at all. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Not as far off as I thought it was, but pretty far off. Let's see. Down a bit. Get some 
clearance. Done that first, and I've over tightened them anyway because I was saying I was going to loosen them in case of a failure. So, not even listening to my own advice here. Okay, now. Starting to look for business now. Now I just have to do the fender and we're ready to go green landing. Stop fucking walking. for government work. One. Now to resolve that one. Brace across, bolted and bolted, or a longer screw with some sort of washer situation. I am very pleased at the progress I made today, and I am at the point where I need to resolve how to mount the front bolt to this fender. You'll see three threaded holes and that front one is the one I need to resolve. I am motivated but I know I don't have what I need here and I can probably bodge something together but but I don't know if it'll be a lasting solution and I don't want my impatience to ruin it. So I'm going to knock off for the night, hit the hardware store in the morning and then see about getting this completed for tomorrow. Three hours later. So my impatience got the better of me, and I was staring at the fender for a good long while, and realized that this, the idea of a plate across would actually not work because of clearance issues at the top. So I have opted to drill a third hole in the valley and see if that is strong enough to hold fender in place. And so I'm out here in the middle of the night. One.
clearance issue with the horn. So yeah, move that horn before I can tighten it anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know it could be done, but there you go. If you like that video and you want to see more like them, hit like, share, and subscribe.